So this is the uh, sort of build review for this Arado uh, 68E, which is the new release from Rodin. Uh, I did a review of it about a month ago on the channel and um, I've just managed to, to get it together and finish it off. Uh, we'll have some more detailed sort of images uh, coming up shortly in a reveal slideshow, but I just thought I'd talk through a couple of the points. So firstly, there was an issue with the decals. So they are quite poor, to be honest, um, especially considering what, what, what I've done. I mean, they've gone down on a gloss coat and, and everything's been done as I would usually do with um, any sort of decal. And they're already rough on the sheet, which is quite strange. They've got a rough texture. The sheet's actually quite smooth, but where the decal is, it's, uh, it's got a texture, like I'm saying. We've also got it out of register as well. There's a white band going around half of the circle and not the rest. And there is quite large carrier film. Uh, I don't know if you can see it there on the 9, but this isn't silvering. Silvering's different to this. This is, um, well, I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it is a touch of silvering, I suppose. I don't know. It's very hard to know. It's not, um, it's, they're just very odd. Put it like that. I, um, they've gone down quite smooth, and as you look at them, they only sort of get caught here and there, but it's the carrier film that's really strong. I mean, I guess on this one there is a little bit of silvering, if I'm honest, which is uh, around this area, but you can still see the large carrier film around the rest of it. Um, so it is excessively thick. Granted, I could have just cut close to the one and probably would have eliminated that, but I've done this more as a test piece. Just so if anyone's considering doing this model, uh, just a few things to look out for. There is also a texture all over the plastic, so quite a rough grainy texture running over it, uh, which is a bit odd as well. But, all that said, um, the real sort of thing that's against this model is the decals, uh, which probably could have been saved if you, if you applied them um, in a kind of advanced level, for instance, so if you cut around, uh, really went to town with putting them down. I've just done this as an out-of-the-box out build, quick sort of weekend build, um, just to see what sort of errors we'd get. And of course with Rodin, you, you know, it's quite well known about the decals. The plus point is the fit was very good, actually. It, it incredibly good, to be honest. Um, it, it went together no problem. Um, I had to put a little spacer just in between this nose section so that the top cowling would fit on because it was a little bit... Um, it, it went inside of what the cowling wanted it to be. So that was one section that was an issue. The rest of it actually went on no problem. The, the top wing to the bottom wing and the struts was all very well done. The landing gear was extremely well done. The tailplane, everything was, was absolutely fine. There was no fit, fit issues at all. Um, the real area this model is going to sort of struggle with is in the UK, this has just gone up for retail price of 45 99 which is a lot of money for what you get. Um, it's an Arado 68E, so it's not going to... Uh, not a lot of people are going to really want this model as, as such. It's not going to appeal. It didn't, re even in the Spanish Civil War, it really didn't do very much. It was just there. There was three of them, 9-1 to 9-3. It's more sort of training aircraft for the Luftwaffe and a, and a reconnaissance aircraft. A little bit of a strange aircraft to pitch at 45 99 I would say that's an extremely high uh, price for what you get, especially considering the decals aren't very good and that the moulding is, um, the engineering is very good, the moulding is quite poor. So uh, like I said, with the rough texture, it really needs a sand and polish all over the plastic before you, um, before you make it. So if you were going to do this one, I would suggest uh, painting the decals, certainly cutting very tight, uh, or maybe even getting a, a set of aftermarket decals. And I would suggest polishing each part, the plastic wise, all around before you assemble it, uh, just to kind of take some of that roughness down. It does sound very well, it does go very quickly. So, you know, if you really want to make a model of it, it's not a problem. Your other options out there are the Classic Airframes kit. And if you think about the Classic Airframes kit is, you know, coming up at shows and on eBay, yeah, for, 10 to 15 pounds if we're honest it, it is quite cheap i'm not sure if this is a big enough an improvement to warrant the price tag myself but that's my personal view you have to um 
you have to make that decision yourself if you want to go for it. So that is my honest build review for this kit. I'm going to leave you with some pictures now. I've taken a few pictures during the build. We've got a very nice detailed cockpit in there, which is something I haven't said actually, which is very, very good. And um, all I've had to do is, is add a, a set of seat belts. Uh, there's cockpit framing that goes in in a section and then the fuselage halves go around it. So it's, it's very well done. It, it is a shame it's so high. Really, this should retail around 25 quid, but to slap another 20 quid on top, I honestly think it's it's way too much by quite, quite a considerable amount. But there you have it. So um, hopefully this build review has been of interest and it's something um, a little bit different for the channel and does back up my um, earlier inbox review. It's something I try and do, but you know, time doesn't always allow. Um, I'd like to know your comments um, uh, below regarding the decals. Is that my application? Have I been a bit sort of heavy handed with it? Is it a mix of the two? Do you think there's some techniques you could have done to uh, make these better? I've done a close up picture of the texture on the on the decal there, so I don't know how much um, how much can be done to actually get rid of that texture, but who knows? So uh, this this model was um, gifted to me, not by Rodin. So it, it, this is totally my own opinion, but it was given to me by. Um, by an associate I met at Telford, uh, simply as a, as a sort of gift. So um, I've not had to pay the 45.99. That is why I've actually built it like I have, and I was actually intending to go into super detailing it afterwards, getting the Edward set and the rest of it. Now I've seen the retail price. I'm not sure I'll be, I'll be doing that. I might actually try and pick up a classic airframes kit because if you look at the original photo of this aircraft, it's actually quite an interesting scheme. It's got leftover parts of camouflage on it, and it's got all kinds of um, sort of hand marks and dirty marks all over the fuselage, so it would make for a very nice aircraft. Uh, but this one's a test piece to go around the shows for next year, so if anyone's considering getting the Roman kit, you can see it uh, warts and all. So as uh, usual, thanks for um, viewing. I uh, hope you enjoy the pictures that are coming. Stay tuned to the channel, because there's plenty more to come, and I'll see you in the next video.